All right, guys, welcome back to Frugal Homestead. So today I want to do a video that I've been waiting to do for a long time. And just recently I got motivated to do it because I heard somebody tell me that a fully synthetic oil change was no longer possible for $20. And that's just not true. Now, for those of you that don't know, we have cars that are 200,000 miles, 100,000 miles, all over the place. But the one thing we've learned is you want them to run and you want them to run long term, running synthetic in your transmission and your motor will change the game. Now honestly these newer model cars they actually call for a synthetic oil. The older models don't but you will find that it's a high mileage especially synthetic oil will make your car last longer. So with that said I wanted to kind of bring you guys a quick review of the super tech line that's carried at Walmart. I'll have links in description so you know where to go to look for it and stuff. But their line will allow you to do an oil change for $20. Now mind you, if I take this truck or this car to Valvoline and say I want a full synthetic oil change, I'm paying $100. I'm not joking, it's $100. Now if I take it to like Mr. Tire, I'm gonna pay somewhere around $90. All right, now if I take it to my local Tuffy, who will work with whatever's on sale at the time, they can probably get it done for $55. Now that said, it might be useful to you if you're a kind of person who doesn't do a lot of miles. We do gig apps like DoorDash, Instacart Shipped, Grubhub, Uber Eats, so I have to do an oil change essentially on our vehicles as far as the cars that we use probably every two months because we do that many miles and I change it as soon as the oil level says 20%. I don't take a chance. I want to get it done. Now that said, the big truck here, she gets work but she don't see a lot of miles. So I just naturally do this one every six months. I use a high mileage synthetic oil, full synthetic. Now, by doing this, I save myself a ton of money. Can you imagine going in every two months and paying $100 to get the oil change on this thing? Now, if you're a person that doesn't like to check your fluids or doesn't understand how, Valvoline might be a good option because they allow you to come in anytime you want. They'll top off your fluids, check your tires for free. So there is some incentive to that. If you're a person that doesn't understand cars at all, that might be better for you. But it's important to understand that on these newer cars, for example, this little Honda Fit or my wife's Honda CRV, they don't have grease fittings to be greased. All right. There's very little that they'll do in the way of pulling in your car. They check all your fluids, they do your oil change, they check your tires. That's it. These newer cars don't have all the stuff the older cars did. Now this truck here has, I believe, 12 fittings. No, I take that back. There's 10 because we replaced some of the ball joints and they are now sealed. So. 10 fittings on this truck that need to be greased. Most people don't like to mess with that. It's not terrible to do, but it's just kind of outside the range of most normal people. So with that said, this, if you have an old truck or an old car with fittings on it that need to be greased, it might be good to take it in every you know year or so just to get it greased up and then use this in the other times. Now, this oil was $17 at my local Walmart. This is for my Honda Fit. This is the oil filter for my Honda Fit. It was $3. There's your $20 oil change right there. Now, mind you, make sure you get the high mileage full synthetic if your car is over 100,000 miles. They do have what I call a Dura Blend, which is basically a regular oil and a synthetic oil mixed together. And it's not that much cheaper. But honestly, if you want the protection of a synthetic, especially if you're using a Honda, a Toyota, newer, smaller cars, the way they use fuel and the residue that comes out in the oil, it's important to stay with a synthetic. It's also important to stay with your manufacturer's rating. Now here's where the whole thing comes to terms because you'll see all kinds of videos about cutting these filters open online. So I'm not going to go into that, but what nobody talks about is who makes this stuff. All right. This isn't made by some company overseas that we don't know or never heard of. It's important to understand that 
this is a quality product, but Walmart's buying it in bulk. That's how they're getting it so cheap. I mean massive bulk amounts. Now, when you hear the names behind these products, you're going to quickly know these names, and you're going to quickly understand that you can trust these products to be solid. I've been using them long term. Now, based on the research I did, now obviously, if you're out on the West Coast, this may be slightly different because the distributors and how things work. But here on the East Coast, this is manufactured by Warren Oil. Now, you guys may not know who Warren Oil is, but they're a big name in oil. But they got bought out by a bigger fish because Warren Oil is now owned by Mobile One. And that's a name I guarantee you, you know. So if they're going to be the parent company, you know that they're going to make sure this product is not junk. Now, that said, it took me a long time to truly trace back who makes these filters. But at the end of the day, it's Champion that makes these oil filters. Now, there is a step up in these SuperTech filters. You can get this same filter that's supposedly a step up for like $2 more. And that one is made by a different company. And I've seen these cut open, and the difference is minimal between the two. So I go with the cheaper one, also because I change my oil like every two months in this car because of the running it gets in it. So I have less issues than most people would have that maybe let their car and their oil break down over six months because they don't get enough mileage on them. So with that said, you have to understand that these products are name brand products. They're just packaged in a store brand label. It's like going to Napa and buying Napa oil filters. They're just made by another company and they just put the store name on them and sell them cheaper. Now, if you're the kind of person that can turn a wrench and can check your own fluids and use a tire gauge to check your tires, which all these could be learned very simply. I mean, literally YouTube is your friend. It will teach you whatever you need to know. But you can do your own oil change and save yourself, in comparison to Valvoline, $80 per oil change. Just by taking some time and doing this yourself. So let me explain. When you pull into Valvoline, they're going to get your information, and then they're going to ask you what blend you want, what kind of oil you want, and all that, and then tell you your manufacturer's suggested weight of oil. All right? You can go into Walmart, hit Google, and ask what your car oil type is and what filter, and it's going to spit out the information, or you can use the book or the little computer at Walmart. Get what goes to your vehicle. Go home, take your tire gauge, check all your tires. That's what they'll do at Valvoline. They check all your tires, make sure it's the correct air pressure. Air pressure that you need to have it at is written on the tire. Simple. Open your hood, check all your fluids. Very simple to do. After the car is completely cooled down, take your oil cap off the top, go underneath your car, take your oil filter off, and remove it. When you remove it, you need to make sure that the black gasket is still on the filter and not still up on the motor. That's one of the major ways that issues arise. Now I worked at Valvoline when I was a kid and that was the first thing we were taught. And that's the first thing they would say led to most breakdowns from oil changes was people would have two gaskets on there and it would leak when it pressurizes. So just make sure that gasket's on there. It's real simple to do. Now, return the new oil filter on there and tighten up appropriately. Then, go to your oil pan. There will be a bolt there. Remove the bolt, drain it into an oil pan. Once it has completely stopped draining out, and I mean completely, let it literally drip. Let it take the time to get all that out. Because you need to understand, especially in these newer kind of cars, they will have gas residue and petroleum residue. You want to get as much of that out of your motor as possible. Once you have completed getting all that out, put your bolt back in. Tighten it up accordingly. Do not over tighten it. Take your oil that you bought and put the correct amount in your car. If you don't know what the correct amount is, go ahead and just ask Google and it will tell you how much with filter. 
or you can look it up online or you can actually look it up in your owner's manual once you put that oil in there you are then free to take your old jug or another old jug or any other safe for oil container and take the oil from your pan pour it into it and then all you have to do is take that to your local AutoZone, Advanced Auto Parts, O'Reilly's, whatever your local auto parts shop is, they will take it for free and recycle it. And you're done. You just saved yourself $80 compared to going to Valvoline. Now that said, this may not be for some people. You may need to go in and have it done. And that's okay. So I'm going to give you another trick you can try. I won't guarantee it'll work because I found that some Walmarts do it and some don't. But sometimes you can walk in and pick these up off the shelf, walk back to the auto service center, pay for them, and then they will take this out in their shop and do an oil change super cheap. Now it's not always like that. And our local one has actually stopped doing this but some still do do it. So just the thought. But you really shouldn't be afraid of these products. The Supertech line is made by quality companies. We've been running it for quite some time and it does excellent in our vehicles. I see a lot of people running different oil filters than this and some of them might be concerned. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not gonna go into that right now, but you should really get online and look at some of the videos where they cut these filters open and do a side-by-side -side comparison. And you see some of those they put on there that actually cost more than these are junk, just honestly junk. The failure rate on them is amazing and you don't even know it. So now your car is pumping failed unfiltered oil through itself, just destroying itself. So if you found anything in this video that was helpful please take a moment, go down, hit the like button because what that does is it tells YouTube you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it as well as other people should see it. It really helps us with the whole algorithm and how things work. Now, if you haven't already, and I don't know why you wouldn't have, go down, hit the subscribe button, make sure that you come and see all of our videos by hitting the notification bell, and then one more thing I'd like you to do for me, go down in the comments, let me know, do you change your own oil? Or where you go and how much it costs you? I'd love to hear you guys' feedback on this. See if my pricing here in Ohio is on point with where you are, because I'm betting people in California pay way more. Way, way, way more. And I'd just love to hear what different regions, and maybe we can start a discussion down there to kind of see as you go across the country the difference in cost. But with that said, make sure you go out and try the Supertech line. You will not regret it, and we will see you in the next one.